All right, here's uh, job number two of the day, about 10 a.m. Um, this is a callback. And so what we got going on here, Maytag Furnace, AKA Nordine. So it's a uh, single stage, high efficient. Single stage, high efficient. Um, and so what happened on this one is it's been failing super intermittently, like only when it's really cold out and only a couple times like a month and then it sounds like it's been getting worse um so i came another tech came out a couple weeks ago and there were no error codes um that he could find and so he did notice that this tube right here was missing um and i he said in the install manual you know it says this tube is optional um, but he says he's he's came up on this furnace before where the tube is not installed and it was basically condensate was backing up inside this collar here. Um, so we went ahead and uh, and put this tube on, ordered it from uh, Nordine, put the tube on, and uh, and thought maybe that would take care of it. Turns out that did not take care of it. So now we're back again. Um, this time I'm getting a code. I'm getting solid red with alternating green. Uh, furnace is currently in lockout. So if I look at the cheat sheet here, we got red on and green flash is going to be this one. Green flash, red on, and this is pressure switch open fault. So, um, you know, basically what that would suggest to me is that the pressure switch, I don't know if that means it's not closing, like it's remaining open, or if it's closing and then opening up during runtime. Um, I'm not sure, but either way, it sounds like this. it's saying the pressure switch is open. So, um, tricky thing on this furnace is that it's it's in lockout right now, so it's not going to run again, um, you know, until it goes through its its lockout cycle. Um, and I don't like to I don't like to pull power on diagnostics. I like to try to leave it and just naturally observe it, do its thing. Sometimes you'll find on a diagnostic, you know, just removing power, pulling doors off you know little things like that can cause the the problem to momentarily go away so I'm, i want to leave this thing as it is, not really touch it i got my klein uh multimeter set up ready to rock so basically what i'm doing is i'm hoping i'm going to hear this thing fire try to fire off again and then i'll be able to um just throw my multimeter really quick there's one switch down here um it's a 1.13 and then there's one switch over here. It's a point three, and so I'm hoping I can throw. I can uh, basically just hit my test leads and check each side of the pressure switch with the inducer running and figure out, you know, if it's closing or not. And hopefully one of them doesn't close, and then I kind of I know what's going on. Um, so yeah, hoping for the best. So I'm just gonna sit here and hopefully I can film it kicking back on. All right, so here we go. So if you see what I just did, I put my uh, voltmeter on the common of the pressure switch. So voltage coming into the switch, I was reading 27. And then when I uh, jumped across to the outcoming, the output on the switch, I was reading zero. So that pressure switch is not closing. Um, so that's gonna be the fix is that, I'm trying to get a video of it here. There we go. That uh, negative 0 0.3 pressure switch, that's the problem. Okay, so here's gonna be the test. Uh, this is something I like to do just as a tech um, to try to confirm my diagnostic. So I figured out this switch wasn't closing. So what I'm, I pulled the pressure port and took a peek in there. It's not obstructed, the hose looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suck on the hose and uh, close the pressure switch with my mouth um, a couple cycles and see if I can free it up. And then I'm gonna plug it back onto that pressure port and I'm gonna see if this furnace will run. And in my mind, if it does, then 100% I know that switch is bad. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, see what happens. All right, here we go. It's gonna to try to fire up after I breathe on that pressure switch and see what happens.
So that's it. Both pressure switches closed. And look at, look what's happening. The igniter's kicking on. So that's it, boys. Bad pressure switch, done.